Hey everybody, uh, it's meteorologist Brad Panovich here, getting excited for the ski season. This is my first official forecast of the season, and I wish I had good news for Thanksgiving week. I really don't, but there is excitement building for next week, and that's what I want to talk about primarily today. Though we do have a couple of colder days coming up here um, for the start of the week. Really, midweek to late week is not looking ideal for snowmaking or natural snow. So don't look for anything great here, really, for Thanksgiving week. But there's something to get excited for next week. There's certainly a pattern beginning to develop for that first week of December, which is really next week after this Thanksgiving holiday. So let's go through this week. You can see our dreaded southeast ridge this is unfortunately if you watched my winter forecast something i was worried about that's going to pop up from time to time and i still do think it's going to pop up from time to time but just like we're seeing in this pattern we're going to see it ebb and flow so it's not going to lock into place for hopefully an extended period of time but i do think we'll see a week of it here and then back to cold a week of it there back to cold so it's going to be kind of bouncing all over the place that's why making snow when it's cold enough is really important and that's why last week you saw a lot of resorts really take advantage of that and at least be able to open now next week is looking ideal for both making snow and possibly some significant natural snow depending on what happens so this is through the upcoming weekend the first thing you notice here going into the weekend is we've got a pretty big trough and a cutoff low kind of together this is really interesting so the model i'm looking at here is a european model we've got a trough but we've also got some kind of cutoff low here in the southern stream so the combination of cold air and a storm um, is always nice to see so as we go into early next week look at this dip in the jet stream this is legit here early in the week this is really cold air perfect snow making conditions early next week the real question is is there going to be any natural snow i do think there is going to be some natural snow especially right in here because we should at least have some northwest flow coming off the great lakes the question is how much this southern stream energy will get involved but the fact that it's just cold is really key here this is early next week and then to cap it all off, late in the week, we've got another one of these cutoff lows developing. And check this thing out. I went a little fast there, but this is another cutoff low. Look at this thing coming down, okay? Now, these, these upper lows moving into the southeast are prolific snowmakers in the higher elevations because this brings its own cold air with it. You don't need to actually have cold air at the surface because it's really cold aloft. So if you can get precipitation, it will drag it down to the surface. But... If you're at four or 5,000 feet, uh, you're going to get snow. So I think this is a wet, heavy snow, especially for the Southern Appalachians shaping up late next week. So two possibilities. Let's look at the, the temperatures here um, through this week, obviously pretty warm here, but I wanna watch what happens next week with this trough digging in. I mean, that's legit cold. I mean, if you look here, this is going into next week. So I'm gonna back this up here. Um, look at some of this cold air coming in next week i mean that is that's some pretty chilly air coming down for the for the end of next week so let's look at the future cast i'm going to show the european guidance here um i think i actually put the gfs in here or the european we'll see i i, I can't remember what i put in here now. i think this is the uh the the, the uh, uh european here but i'm going to show you both the snowfall forecast so this is going into the weekend remember that cutoff low and trough so yeah, this is the euro because it's showing all rain. But remember, there's cold air coming down. So there's a distinct possibility this could be snow in the higher elevations. And then we go through time, this becomes a coastal storm late next week as that cutoff low kind of pushes to the east. And I'm going to back this up. You can see there some hints of some snow. So again, we're out in La La Land for models. That's why you're like, oh, it doesn't look like snow, Brad. This is next Wednesday. I look for patterns. The fact that we've got this set up somewhere in the southeast means this could be here, could be here, could be here. This 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 uh, range of the forecast, you're not looking for specifics. You're looking for the ingredients. And clearly, we've got some of the ingredients there. So let me show you that European snowfall forecast just to show you it's not anywhere near the mountains, but it does show that snow near the coast. Let me show you the GFS though. This is the thing to get excited about because it shows not only could we see some snow early next week so we'll go through the weekend this is this upcoming week and notice no natural snow hate to tell you nothing this weekend but let's go into early next week so here we go monday morning this is early monday morning so that's that first batch of cold air that's some northwest flow snow possibly maybe even down here into parts of north carolina then we go out through the middle of the week look at this cold air keeps pumping down snowshoe canane timberline oh my gosh and then look at this upper low coming in from the west 
And again, the upper low, this is what I talked about. Look at that prolific snow. That bullseye, that's right there in the Smokies. That bullseye is uh, Mount Mitchell, the grandfather, beach, sugar. If you look up here, that's some pretty good totals. Now again, we're out in La La Land, folks. We're in that long range forecast, but it's early in the season. So this is something to get excited for. Don't get caught up in just reading one model or getting caught up in your weather app. Look at the overall pattern. And as a meteorologist, the thing that really catches my attention next week more than any of the specifics is this right here. We want to see that ridge breaking down and this trough. This right here to me is a great sign for great snowmaking at the minimum and the possibility of some natural snow next week. So, hey, we've got time to watch this. It's a whole week away from today. It's only Monday, uh, Thanksgiving week, and I'm talking about Monday of the following week. So over the next couple of days, we'll have some updated forecasts. I'll probably do an update on Wednesday night pre-Thanksgiving to get you excited. But, hey, I'm just excited that we're actually talking about snow here in the middle and end of November. So it's an exciting time. I think we're going to have a good start here into early December. I know it's been slow here in November, super warm, but it looks like things are going to change. As always, everybody, remember, think snow.